First of all, let me assure you that you read the title right. Canada and Denmark now has a land border. I know you are puzzled as to how this is possible. After all, there is an ocean between these two countries, right? But before I tell you about the border, let me tell you about the most civilized and friendliest border dispute story you have ever heard. It's even have a name. It's called Whiskey War. It started in 1984 when Canadian troops visited the disputed island and erected Canadian flag, put up a welcome to Canada sign and left a bottle of Canadian club whiskey. Soon after that, Greenland's minister went to the island and removed all the stuff that Canadian troops left and put up Danish flag and left a bottle of Danish spirit and a sign welcome to the Danish island in Danish language of course since then both sides have been making regular trips to collect and replace each other's goods both countries are quiet on how many trips and what happened to this alcohol but i'm assuming somebody is enjoying it this is the story of the whiskey war the most polite conflict between the two countries don't you agree this is the best way to deal with any conflict okay now let's look at how it's all started it goes all the way to 1880 when british transferred arctic territories to canada they used the old 16th century map which didn't have the disputed hans island hans island is nothing but a small barren uninhabited rock sits in the middle of canadian channel that separates canada and the autonomous territory of denmark greenland in 1933 greenland was declared the rightful owner of hans island by the permanent court of international justice this organization was dissolved within few years with that the ownership resolution became invalid both canada and denmark parked the dispute while they were focused on the world war 2 and the cold war but the issue started to simmer again in the 70s and both Denmark and Canada conducted many surveys and discovered that Hans Island is sitting in the middle of the maritime boundaries between the two countries the high point of the conflict came in 2005 when the Canadian Minister of Defence Bill Graham made a trip to the island and witnessed the planting of the Canadian flag Denmark took this as a Canadian occupation in Denmark's territory and launched an official diplomatic protest with Canada. In 2018, Canada and Denmark established a joint task force to determine the boundary between Canada and Greenland, including the fate of Hans Island. On June 14, 2022, Canada and Denmark signed the treaty and ended the dispute. Denmark is getting 60% of the Hans Island while Canada is getting the remaining 40%. It is a very sensible resolution, but it's very anticlimactic at the same time to end the unique border dispute between the two countries. Feel like a kind of a disappointment. If you are going to split the island why it took so long it's 50 years almost they could have done it in 1974 at the very least the other question is who really cares about the tiny rock that doesn't have any value does it really matter if it belongs to denmark or canada oh but there is a reason for this long stretch of negotiation both denmark and canada wanted to show their strength and power more importantly don't want to appear as a pushover or weakling why you ask the answer is the arctic region canada denmark and russia all have claim over a arctic region all three countries have submitted a competing claim to a swatch of arctic ocean and the north pole with united nations see this is why neither canada nor denmark wanted to let this one go it's not the hans island the more important arctic ocean because that has much bigger value don't get me wrong 
this 1 km long land border on a 1.3 square km rock is significant because it changes Canadian geography in a very big way for a long time Canada only shared land border with the United States of America last time Canada shared a border with another country was 1949 when Newfoundland was a British territory before becoming Canada's 10th province now we have to reprint all the geography books because Canada now share land border with United States and Denmark also it is the only place in North America where it is possible to cross over into European territories with a single step many Canadians won't ever visit this place as it will cost many thousands of dollars to reach the spot as far as I know both the Danish and the Canadians are in favor of the resolution but it has to be rectified in both parliaments I don't see any issue with it but this agreement will mean that end of the whiskey war June 14th for the last time Canadian Foreign Affairs Minister alongside the Danish Foreign Affairs Minister exchange the link of now Canada shares the land border with United States of America and Denmark this is a great question for geography B don't you think so thank you for watching see you in my next video or talk to you in my next video